Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to this MotoGP 18 career mode. Today, we're continuing on with the Red Bull Rookies Cup where last time out we managed to score a fourth place on debut in this championship. So it's been a pretty good first race weekend considering we have the game set to the maximum difficulty. I did actually manage to qualify second and was fighting for the lead but unfortunately low-sided the bike trying to go underneath someone. So hopefully today we get some better luck. Next time out, as you can see, we are here at Mugello, so hopefully we can make it count. Hello to all the motorcycle fans tuning in. Today's race is being held in the hills of Tuscany, where the Italian Grand Prix is about to start. The weather forecasts are very reassuring. We will have sunny weather for the entire duration of the race. Alrighty, here we go. Race number two here at Mugello, so it it's going to be interesting riders, to see what the draft the is like. Is here. We are speaking to you from the starting grid with just a few minutes to go before the race begins. I know the the draft in Moto3 is ridiculous uh, on any sort of long straight track. Wow, that's loud. But no, it's going to be extra interesting in these Red Bull rookie bikes. So we have managed to qualify fourth. Uh, we were a little bit off the pace in practice, but I managed to sort of get out a decent lap in qualifying to put us only one and a half tenths off pole. Really close here in this game. I must admit the competition is really cool, but definitely a lot of things that it would seem MotoGP 18 can work on. All right, so track is 49 degrees, nice and hot. It's going to be slick. One of the most challenging and spectacular tracks in the entire championship. Alrighty, here we go. Race number two. And we're off. Cannot get the start right. Oh, good draft though. Look at this. Big move. Pull it up, pull it up. Oh, that's a good start. Professional B, can they draft past us on the straight? In real life, for sure, it'd be a sitting duck, but here we go. Four tenth gap at the line. Wow, they're not catching up. All right, well that's good for us right now. <laughs> so seven lap race, fifty percent race distance. Well, we eked out a little bit of a bigger gap on that lap. Up to 1.3, so a 9 tenths quicker on that last lap. Alrighty, halfway there. Looking good so far. A 1.8 second lead, so it's, the gap sort of stayed pretty steady over the last three laps. Oh my gosh, we've been given a ride through penalty. What the hell was that for? I think that was for maybe one too many... One too many cut tracks or off tracks. Slightly ran wide out of the last corner and... Wow, this has uh, killed our race. I didn't even know you could get a... Wow, I thought that was for cutting the track, not for running slightly wide. 
Okay, we're absolutely screwed now. Come on, why am I still on autopilot? Are we seriously all the way down in dead last? Oh my god. Well, that was a disaster. Alright, do not run wide at the last corner at Magello. And now we're 10 seconds behind the last place bike. Wow, this has just been the biggest disaster of a race. How the hell is that a penalty? Like, what the fuck? Well, that sucks. <laughs> Wow! Man, they have to fix some of the bugs on this game. I mean, that's just crazy. Running first out to a lead of like two seconds and then a penalty causes us, well, causes us to have a drive through. I mean, what the. Or ride through, I should say. Wow! I mean, two, two minute 0 0.5. Our fastest lap was a. 59.8, so we were like 7 tenths a lap quicker than the leaders. I mean, wow, that just, that sucks so bad. Alright, well, I guess on to the next one. Greetings from Assen to all the fans. We're bringing you live coverage of the Dutch Grand Prix. The weather forecasts are very reassuring. We will have sunny weather for the entire duration of the race. Alright, so round three. Looking for a better result than last it was time a long out. Weekend for the riders, but finally the showdown is here. We are speaking to you from the starting grid, with just a few minutes to go before the race begins. To be honest, I just wish this guy would shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna try and find some uh, sound settings and and see what we can do here in a bit. But for Assen, we managed to qualify on the pole. It's our first pole on MotoGP 18. It was actually a drying track, so we managed to sort of score the pole right towards the end of the session. Uh, we had to wait for it to dry up and dry up, and, and I wasn't sure if it was going to bucket down again, so we had to go out basically the full 40 minutes and just hope that we could get in a lap when it, the track was at its driest. Um, so far, it looks like it's drying. I'm not quite sure if it's full dry yet. But we'll take, look, we'll take a look here in just a sec. But yeah, we definitely need to get a win out here today and cannot afford one of those, well, another one of those drive, or oh, I keep saying drive through, ride through penalties. So, off the pole, we've got a pair of Spaniards alongside us. This is quite a hard track, there's a lot of sort of sharp corners where it's not it's not really it's hard to explain they're like 90 degree curbs so if you hop over the top of them it's really hard to stay on the bike and get your turn in sort of point right but we've been really quick through sector two which is where all the passing opportunities are so hopefully we can uh, continue that form through this race just a few minutes to go until the Grand Prix begins Assen the motorbike university is once again ready to put everyone to the test all right, round three, the world famous Assassin circuit. Here we go. We can hold the outside. Oh shit! Okay, it was very, very slippery offline there. <laughs> Oh, wow. That, they, okay, so if you stick your wheels on the curbs, on the ripple strips in MotoGP 18, they seem to have like 10 times more grip than the actual track, so... I don't quite know why that is, but it's definitely not realistic, that's for sure. God, I keep forgetting to change gear. I can't quite hear the bike properly on this third-person view. Well, that's a warning shit. We did not want one of those this early in the race. It's just we're in the dry now, so the track's so much grippier than what it was in qualifying. It's going to take me a while to, un while to adjust to it. Come on. 
gonna have to be super careful for here on out. We won't be able to incur another one of those sort of cut tracks or else we will get a ride through penalty. A hard first lap. Come on, Joseph. Dropped all the way down from pole to eighth on that lap. Move. That's deep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, big brake test. Just keep making way too many mistakes. And not make any ground up on the leaders. Alright, come on, see if we can make the move on this fast left-hander. Oh, almost got a penalty there. Whew, that was lucky. All right, two laps to go. See if we can get a fourth place finish. We're definitely too far away from the podium, but anything can happen here on these last two laps. Ah, shit. Alright, well, unfortunately, sick it is. And that all came down to the start, just running wide through turn one, dropping too many positions, and then only being able to gain one of them back throughout the race. I don't know. Uh, that just really sucks whenever you start off pole and have a... Well, not a bad finish, but not anywhere near where you started. While the Parc Ferme starts to fill up with the stars of the race, we're going to take a look at the final race ranking. So, 44-1 lap time, pretty much the same as uh, third place in the top three. Definitely didn't have as much pace here as what we did at Mugello, that's for sure, but uh, one thing is for sure is that we should really have had that fourth place. Unfortunately, I made that mistake on the second to last lap, which cost us. But, yeah, this is not good for the championship. We definitely want to be higher than eighth. I just don't see how we're going to get anywhere near the top three now that we've had two sort of well, one bad finish and one average finish. Alrighty, the third and final race on today's episode will be the German Grand Prix at the Saxon Ring. Now, I do quite like this track. I've been quite fast here in the past, so hopefully with that sort of previous MotoGP 17 and Modi, uh, MotoGP 15 pace that I had, we can make it a good one. Hello and welcome to the Saxon Ring circuit. The waiting is finally over. The German Grand Prix will be starting in just a few minutes. The weather is great and the temperature is perfect for racing. So we're just waiting to find out which riders have opted for hard tyres and which riders have opted for soft. Alrighty, here we go now. We have managed to we put it on the pole the and by a long margin. Engineers and technicians are ironing out the last few details before the race starts. So you can see here, four tenths of a second. Around this short track, well, it's a short track in MotoGP terms, I mean, a 1 minute 28 on this bike means that it is a very short track indeed. 
and because it is so short, we are we are, we are actually running 11 laps instead of, for example, last race's seven. Oh, sorry, nine laps instead of last race's seven. So a little bit of a longer lap Everything count. Is ready to start here at Saxon Just got to make it happen. Concentration is at the max because it's extremely important not to lose positions early on this track. All right, come on. We cannot afford to have the same first corner as Aston. Ah, shit. Oh. Jesus, that was rough. I was not prepared to hang around the outside this time by... track is definitely the coolest but the hardest of all the MotoGP tracks on the calendar. Wow, the lead is checked out. Ah, it's a one-two breakaway. Alright, lap one, we've lost one position. Right on his ass. Big move around the outside. Oh. And we have the lead. Alright, so we still have the lead, just... Halfway home. All right, coming up to the last lap now. All right, last lap. Come on. I want this win. <laughs> Ah, fuck. Controller turned off, come on. Of all the times that could happen, it just had to happen now. Oh my god. On the last frickin' lap. Gotta get a good last sector. I'm 
through here. Oh my god, we did not just lose this race. <laughs> oh my god, we lost it on the last lap, for god's sake. My luck on this game so far has been absolutely ridiculous, like wow. I mean, we'll take a podium, first podium on MotoGP 18, but far out, man, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, why? God, man. As the stars of this exciting race finish their final lap, let's 28 1. We just didn't have the consistency to pull away from the rest of them. Alright, well, at least that puts us up into fourth in the championship, but this Onchu guy from Turku, of Turku, from Turkey is uh, definitely running away with this one. Far out, man, that sucks. That would have been a massive win. Gained a lot of reputation though, so once again, even though he didn't manage to win up. the race today, he still put on a great show. The applause from the team and fans is definitely deserved. Woohoo! At least we got the first podium out of the way. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, this did not go to plan. We had a DNF in the first race today, and then in that round four just now at the Saxon Ring unfortunately gave up a win on the last lap of the race but for the most part it's been a pretty fun championship so far pretty fun career mode i must admit there are a lot of bugs with this game that i hope they they do fix and there are a lot of sort of issues here and there that are, i've seen a lot of people are complaining about so hopefully uh, milestone get on top of it and get the issues rectified sooner rather than later stay tuned for episode three that'll be coming up sometime next week where we will continue this red bull rookies charge to the championship Unfortunately, it doesn't look good right now, but if we can just get in the top three in this championship, then hopefully we should be able to move into a decent team in Moto3. Alright guys, thanks once again for tuning in. Until next time, I'll catch you later.